In this tutorial video we're going to have a look at finding the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So first of all, what is an inverse? Well an inverse of a matrix A is another matrix which we're going to call A to the minus 1 such that when we multiply by it either to the right as we do here or to the left as we do here we end up with the identity matrix. So in 2 by 2 terms the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. So if we have a matrix A and we find another matrix so that when we multiply by it we get I, then it's an inverse. So let's in general terms look at how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So step 1, find the determinant. So let's say our matrix A in this case is a general 2 by 2 matrix A, B, C, D. I always like to write my matrices in columns. So A, B, C, D. The determinant of A, also denoted modulus of A, both mean the determinant of A, is equal to this diagonal here, A, D. Take this diagonal here, multiplied together, take B, C. So this diagonal here multiplied together, take this diagonal here multiplied together. So we found the determinant. So step two, so it's relatively straightforward from here. So the inverse of A is always equal to 1 over the determinant of A times. So what we're going to do, we're going to swap these elements here, A, D, and make these elements here the negatives of what they originally were. So we're going to change the signs of those two. And there we have it, there is the inverse. So let's just check that this works. So let's do a times a to the power of minus 1. So in this case a is a, b, c, d. And we're going to multiply by 1 over a, d minus b, c, d minus b minus c, a. Now because this quantity here is just a number, we can actually take that the front, that only works with numbers. So 1 over a, d minus b, c, a, b, c, d times d minus b minus c, a. equals, okay, 1 over AD minus BC. And let's start multiplying this together. So to multiply these matrices together, AD minus BC is the first entry, AD minus BC. Then we've got BD minus BD. Then we've got minus AC plus CA. So minus AC plus and CA is the same as AC. And then minus BC plus DA. Minus BC plus DA. So we'll rewrite that in a tidier way. We'll get 1 over AD minus BC. AD minus BC. That becomes 0. BD take BD is 0. Then we've got that, that becomes 0. Then we've got, well, AD, which is the same as DA, take BC. And if we divide that by the determinant, we end up with 1, 0, 0, 1. And there's the inverse. We've proved that that is the inverse. So to find the inverse of a matrix, this is what we do here. These are the two steps that you follow. So let's apply this to an exam question now. So it's saying that we've got the matrix M equals 2, 4, minus 1, 3. Well, first of all, the determinant of M is 2 times 3. Take 4 times minus 1, which we see is 10, which means that the inverse of M is equal to swap these two elements 
3, 2, and make these two the negatives of what they originally were, minus 4, 1, times 1 over the determinant, and there's your inverse. Now we can verify this using a calculator. So let's put the calculator in matrix mode. So menu, and scroll over to matrix mode, there it is, mode number 4. So it's telling us to define a matrix. Well, we're going to make this matrix A. Number of rows, 2 by 2. So a number of columns, 2 also. And let's input these values into the matrix. Now, what I did before, I wrote matri matrices in columns. Unfortunately, the calculator inputs them as rows. So we'll have to live with that. So 2 is the first entry. Then press equals to move along to the next one. Minus 1 is the next entry, equals 4 is the next entry, and 3 is the next entry. So that now is matrix A. What we need to do now is press the operation button. Whenever we feel we're stuck, always press the operation and that will help. And what we want to do is a matrix calculation, so that's option 3. Okay, so what to do next? If ever in doubt, just press operation. And we want to take matrix A, which is 3, and the button to find the inverse is this x to the minus 1. So matrix A to the minus 1 equals 3 tenths is the top left. Well, there we have it. A tenth of 3 is 3 tenths. Then we have minus 0 0.4 is the bottom left. Yeah. So minus 4 divided by 10 is minus 0 0.4. 0 0.1 in the top right and 0 0.2 in the bottom right. So yes, that works. For more tutorials like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.